Oh, what's that? 64 cores on a CPU? That's old news. 96 cores is where it's at. And you don't even have to buy an enterprise CPU to get that. Sounds too good to be true? Wow, don't worry, because it is. At least for now. Because the first few leaks of the upcoming Storm Peak Threadripper 7000 CPUs have already surfaced, showing that these brand new Threadripper CPUs will have up to 96 cores and a whopping 480 megabytes of cache between them. For some context, that's a lot. That is quite an uplift from the maximum 64 cores of the last gen Threadripper 5000 CPUs. In fact, it is on par with the epic Genoa CPUs, enterprise chips that have up to 96 cores as well. And while we don't know too much so far, three different SKUs have already been identified with a minimum of 64 cores. Now note, that doesn't mean that AMD isn't providing us more, you know, sane people with CPUs with less than 64 cores. Those SKUs are probably still coming, but right now, these three are looking to completely shake up the prosumer game. And well, that's pretty much all we know. What, come on, don't shoot a messenger, you know, I'm just delivering the news. It's not my fault the news is, well, kind of anticlimactic in the end, even if the promise of a 96 score CPU on the prosumer side is still mighty exciting. And to make things even more disappointing, odds are you're gonna need a brand new motherboard for it as well. Now, AMD's track record with socket longevity on the Threadripper side has been very spotty at best, and odds are you're gonna need something completely different from the previous Threadripper socket, and something different from even the SP3 socket currently used by Epic. Even if on paper the brand new Epic and Threadripper CPUs are gonna use similar dies. But still, for people who need that kind of performance in the workstations and don't need an enterprise chip, this is all huge news. And while we don't know exactly when these brand new CPUs are going to be launching, they're going to shake up the game big time. So let's hope that we actually live long enough to enjoy these CPUs when they come out. And if a push comes to shove, then hey, at least they will provide enough warmth for us in our nuclear shelters. But let me know what you think all of this down in the comments below. And hey, while we're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even one single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, Ella Broniak, Balaj Velka, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you're just going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's all it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.